Hello, my name is Ved and welcome to this video where I will be giving you some practical advice on your meditation practice. I help new meditators to break through the cycle of thoughts, learn to tap into the spiritual power and be able to meditate effortlessly. Experience all that meditation has to offer. To explore their deep spirituality. Now, when we first start meditating, it's very normal that we experience a restless mind, that there are thoughts moving through the mind. So the moment you sit for meditation, you close your eyes, you say, okay, now I'm going to try to meditate. You, maybe you have a little work with your breathing, and you start to look inside. Immediately you see uh, the mind is very restless. The thoughts, the thoughts are flowing. There is the inner conversation with yourself sometimes, there can be memories, remembering all kinds of experiences from your life, from your day. There can be projection into the future where you're thinking about all the tasks you have to do, all the responsibilities you have, where you're thinking about the conversations. And there can be imagination where you begin to daydream, you begin to imagine all kinds of situations. This restless mind is, is very normal. This is what everyone will experience, I believe, when they be, begin practicing meditation, when they first start meditating. What's happening? Actually, the mind was always restless. The mind was not really so disciplined. And the moment you started to go into meditation, you became conscious. You really started to observe what's happening inside me. And you begin to notice this mind that you have, the power of your mind, is churning. It has a lot of power. That's how the mind is. And there's the flow of thoughts, restless thoughts. What also happens is, because you're turning inside in meditation, you're withdrawing yourself from the senses, you're trying to focus on you and let go a little of the world, what happens is that energy you're normally directing to outside, where does it go? It stays with you. And so that energy begins working inside you and it will amplify the experience of what's happening in the spiritual space, in the subtle space. That's another way of saying it's going to amplify your emotions, it's going to amplify your thoughts. And so the mind has a lot more energy to work. And so because it's accustomed to running, racing, going on its track, doing whatever, the mind now begins to feel powerful. And there's a huge amount of thoughts, restlessness in the mind. So the first thing I want you to know is, it's very normal. That is what we expect when you first start meditating. So, nothing to be down on yourself about or to be critical about or to say, oh gosh, I wish I could have a peaceful meditation. Uh, I have seen in my own practice and in teaching the many students that I have, this is just what happens. This is the journey we have to take. First, we have to observe, oh yeah, my mind is very restless <laughs> and I need to do something about this. I need to help, somehow find a way to work with this mind, to transform it into a different place, to channel the energy into a different place. And that's the goal of meditation. The goal of meditation is to um, come into better control, better awareness, better self-mastery of your own mind, of your own thoughts, of your own emotions, of your own energy. So that's part of the process. And remember that meditation is a skill. So it's going to take some time to develop that skill of managing your heart and emotions or managing your mind. That's, that's expected. So nothing to worry about. And of course, if you practice diligently meditation and you have some, some useful techniques and you have a guide to support you, of course, you will bring the mind under control. And you will begin to learn how to focus the mind the way that you would want to do, the way you want to. And then, when you learn to focus the mind, you can direct the energy in a deeper way towards spiritual growth and spiritual experiences. So, how do you begin managing the mind? The first thing you need to do is learn not to judge. This is the first thing I would advise. So, of course, you close your eyes, you're in meditation, you're seeing the thoughts. You're having this conversation with yourself inside, right? Or you're seeing the projection of your mind, the imagination, or, or, or different situations, whatever is happening in the mind. It's okay. You don't need to judge what's happening in the mind. You don't need to judge that the thoughts are good and bad, positive and negative. 
no need to judge, no need to label your thoughts. So you shouldn't be in the mind and you say, oh gosh, look at what I'm thinking. Why am I so terrible? Why don't I have control over the mind yet? What's going on? Why is the mind not peaceful? I'm supposed to be meditating. All of that is judgment, judgmental thinking. So when you're judging your own mind, judging your own thoughts, you're actually giving power to the mind. You're giving more energy to the thinking process. The judging is a kind of thinking about thinking. Right? So there's two layers happening. And we don't want that to happen. So what we need to do is learn how to be less judgmental or non-judgmental towards our own mind, towards our own thinking process. That would be the goal. So what, what do you do? You just need to learn to look at your mind. Just become familiar with your mind. Just learn to make the mind into your friend. When you have a friend who um, is going through something, <laughs> right, going through some experience, if you're a good friend, um, then there will be some listening to the friend, right? You will listen to what's happening in their life. They will talk and you will listen. Agree to when there's some friendship. You will, you, you will not judge the friend if you really love the friend. You will not judge them. You will hear about what's happening, you will manage the conversation a little, and you will just listen. Sometimes just the listening is enough to support the friend, isn't it? To help them come into a better space. Same thing you have to do with your own mind. Okay? With your own mind, you have to learn not to judge and just to listen. Just to observe. Just become watchful of your mind. In a loving way. Make a friend out of your mind. It's churning, it's restless, it's giving a little trouble. That's okay. Don't judge it. Just observe. Wow, look at my mind. It's thinking. Look at all the thoughts. Look at the restlessness. But you don't even need to think that. Remember, no thinking about thinking. Just observe what's happening. Learn to look at your mind. That's all. That's the beginning step. The more you come into non-judgmental space with your mind, the better the opportunity you will have to transform how the mind works. So first you need to learn not to judge. Okay? Don't judge the mind as good or bad. Don't judge your thinking as positive or negative. I mean, uh, of course, there's, there's this general trend in spiritual work that you should only think positively, right? That you should always have positive thoughts, the power of positive thinking, all of this. Yes, that's right. But what happens if you, you're thinking positively, you're trying to think positively, and then that doesn't happen. That doesn't come. That's... That's realistic, right? That, that happens. What happens then? Then you begin to feel down on yourself. You begin to feel very heavy because you want to think positive, but it's not happening. The mind is going its own way and you feel like you can't control it. It's just like when you have the friend and they're telling you what's happening in their life and you telling them, why don't you do X, Y, and Z? <laughs> why don't you do so and so? Why don't you? <laughs> and you're giving them all kinds of advice when they're not ready for the advice. How does that go? Does that, does that help the friendship? Or does that really help the friend? Not at all. Right? First, you have to listen to the friend and let them come into a better space. So first, you have to observe your own mind. Learn to observe your mind. Just see the thoughts. No judging. Just observe. Just learn to be with your mind. Not needing to control it too much. And if it feels very overwhelming in the mind, then just stand back from it. Focus on your breathing. Focus on the experience with the body. Focus on just sitting, just feeling, just going into the sensational experience instead of the thinking experience. Give, give the mind a little bit less priority, standing back from it and saying, okay, let me just see what else is in here. I'm not only mind, I am also other experiences. So, not judging the mind. That's the first step I would advise. You need to cultivate and practice not judging. Right? So I hope that you will try this out in your own meditation. And of course, I recommend journaling about the experience. You know, keeping a meditation journal is a great way to have, an, have a way to track your meditation experiences and really um, see in a bigger way all that's happening in your meditation to work with it, to work with it, to go deeper into your meditation experience. So let me thank you very much for listening to this video. And in the next one, I'm going to give you yet another strategy on how to manage your thoughts. But this is the first one that I want you to try. All right? So thank you very much for listening. All blessings on your meditation journey. Namaskar, my friends. Take care.